More importantly, I, I, want, I know you want to talk about the, the, the vaccine rollout on this, like, but why is your neck, like, blowing open like a fucking, the gills of a, of a, of a reptile? Yeah, your neck. Like, right there, like, why is it doing that? I came in because Lester's not asking the right questions. I'm your NBC correspondent. Why, why, do you, how do, you, why do you breathe that way while you're talking about, like, side effects and vaccines and adverse reactions? Are you a reptile? How come you didn't take it? And you're a veterinarian in charge of human health and medicine and, and vaccines. Is your specialty livestock? Are you treating humans like animals, like an alien life form invading the world? And this is like some sort of alien barn on a flat earth? Get the photo or painting shirt so these guys can fucking really have a tantrum and we can expose they're trying to fucking take over our earth. I spoke to the CEO of Pfizer, Albert Bourla, about what message today's approval should send to those who have questioned the approval process. This is the fastest approval the FDA has conducted on a drug. You recall the, the speed was one of the things that worried some people who were cautious and hesitant. They thought this process was moving way too fast. What do you say to those folks now? I think that uh, for those people that uh, they were a little bit reluctant because they wanted to see a full approval, now they have the full confirmation of uh, one of the most respected agencies in the world, the FDA that the product, that the vaccine is effective and safe. Talk if you can for a moment about, about the safety. What have you learned about serious yeah, side neck. effects? Of like right there, like why is it doing that? I came in because Lester's not asking the right questions. I'm your NBC correspondent. Why, why, do you, how do, why do you breathe that way while you're talking about like side effects and vaccines and adverse reactions? Are you a reptile? How come you didn't take it? And you're a veterinarian in charge of human health and medicine and, and vaccines. Is your specialty livestock? Are you treating humans like animals, like an alien life form invading the world? And this is like some sort of alien barn on a flat earth? Side effects and vaccines and adverse reactions. Are you a reptile?